are you today? It's your old pal Jordan the Lion. And guess what? This is our throwback day to Stockholm, Sweden. Remember when I went to Sweden and had the best time ever? Well, we're back to those days. And this wasn't necessarily like one of my top things to do, but a couple of people had requested and I figured, you know what, why not? I love music. So we're gonna go to the Swedish Music Hall of Fame and hit the ABBA Museum. They're right beside each other. If not, they might be in the same building. Hope you guys enjoy this. Days with Jordan the Lion from Stockholm, Sweden begins now. All right, you know I love my sculptures. What a great way to start. Well, I don't know exactly where I'm going because I am not the greatest at following maps and my sense of direction is just about nil. And you know what this is, don't you? Remember when we went to the Vasa Museum and saw the amazing Swedish Armada ship that sank in 1626 because it was top heavy? Sank to the bottom of the sea for 333 years and was trapped in an oxygen pocket and stayed well preserved? If you don't remember it, go back and watch it. I think I called that vlog, Welcome to Stockholm in the Vasa. And this map right here shows where we're at right now. Look at that. And this boat right here is called the Hop on Hop Off. And it's exactly like you think. You can just pretty much take it to anywhere in the canals and waters of Stockholm. Quite a change of pace from my old Hollywood vlogs, huh? I wasn't gonna do a ton of extra vlogs in Sweden. I, mean, I was gonna do a few, but you know, I started getting so many comments as I was posting the Swedish vlogs. Everybody loved them so much, I figured, why not push myself as hard as I could to do as many as I could so that I could pepper in little vacations for you guys here and there. Look, there's a roller coaster. I'm kind of excited to see actually what the museum's like because even though I'm not much of an ABBA fan, I, I don't dislike them. The music's okay, it's just not my thing really, but I love this Swedish band called Bob Hund. And if you've never heard Bob Hund, look it up. It's exactly, it's spelled exactly how it sounds. B-O-B, -B, and then the last name is H-U-N-D. I think you'll love it. Spirit Museum? I'm not exactly sure what that is. I'm sure that is fun if you like amusement parks, but that is way too freaky for me up there over the water. Oh, duh, ding -a -ling. Spirit Museum. That guy's clearly drunk, so that's what it is. Rocky PA Spirit Museum. Alright, I see a sign right there. Look at the very top. ABBA Museum. You don't happen to think that the entire Swedish Rock and Roll Hall of Fame or Music Hall of Fame would just be about ABBA, would you? I guess it's possible. Oh yeah, there it is. Let's do it. And you can see it says Pop House Stockholm. Oh yeah, classic. Maybe I will be glad that I came here, just based on the clothing styles. <laughs> I was having trouble finding the line and I remembered what Michael said. Swedes love to wait in lines, so everything is a line here. Look at all the awards. So those of you who donated to my Sweden trip, these are the kind of things that you donated for. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to talk over a lot of, uh, wow, look at all the costumes. I'm gonna have to talk over a lot of music. Wow, it's pretty insane. Oh yeah, look at all the costumes. They were definitely known for all their crazy costumes. So here when you watch these, you can actually see all the outfits that are in here. This is pretty much what they have is just like the uh, costumes and stuff. And you see that blue one that she's wearing right there with the little beret hat right there? That's actually right here. All those costumes from that appearance are. I didn't get the audio guide, so I don't really know what exactly they were for. Look at that. 
Oh, it says that these are the costumes worn at the Eurovision Song Contest in 1974 in Brighton. So that makes sense. Oh, there we go. Very 70s and 80s. This was 1987. Johnny Logan doing a... Oh, so this was... Um, this is the extent of the Swedish Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is this cabinet. It's not ABBA. And this also is not ABBA. This is from this. That's from the album cover of what you can see right there is Teaching Ding a Dong, 1975, the Netherlands. So a lot of these are Dutch. And this one, look at those costumes. We're gonna see one right now. Whoa! Cool. All right, look at that outfit. Now this is, says, here's a uh, professional makeup artist, and I became a rocker named Lordy. And look at that outfit. That's one of the ones we first saw when we walked in. Then of course they have a little karaoke section where you can perform just like ABBA. And then this outfit right here was worn by a woman named Johanna um, from Iceland in 2009. And here's a picture of her wearing the outfit at an award show. And the outfits right here were uh, obviously pretty 80s. They were worn by a um, Norwegian band or singing duo named the Bobby Sox. And here's a picture of them wearing them. And here's the... Uh, the signal for that Eurovision song contest I was showing you the uh, what ABBA wore when they did it in 1974. And these are just various um, Scandinavian rock bands. And there's Johnny Logan wearing that suit that we've already seen. Look at that. And that's Celine Dion, so maybe that dress is here as well. I'm going to have to look around and see if I can find it. Well, guess what, gang? Guess who found Celine Dion's dress? Right here. 1988, so that was really before her career took off in the United States. It's pretty cool. Hard to believe that she got started kind of like this because of just how amazing of a career she ended up having after Titanic and really everything she's ever done. So let's go see some more of the museum. And of course, most of you may know that ABBA was responsible for the Mamma Mia soundtrack. That became, um, basically they wanted to, for their music to not be forgotten, so one of the songwriters actually wrote Mamma Mia and it totally revitalized the popularity all around the world of their music. And here's the dressing room that they've recreated. Or it may actually be someone's legitimate real dressing room that they just put right here. And this place is pretty awesome. I mean, you don't have to... You can just enjoy visuals. That one kind of looks like Jimmy Johnson. With, what was his name? The guy who used to be the uh, coach of the Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> Everything written in here is in uh, Norwe or Norwegian or Scandinavian or Swedish or Dutch or something other than what I speak. But I'm sure you guys are enjoying this nonetheless. You guys tend to love really odd stuff, especially if you're a, a viewer of mine. I am not gonna stick my head in there. Whoa, look at that, ooh, cool. They have different performances of bands that came through here. There's Kiss performing and The Ark. I've never heard them, but I've seen quite a bit um, around here since I've been out here, so they must be kind of somewhat a local band. Jimi Hendrix, pretty cool. And then all these little booths are broken down by decade, and you can go in and you can listen to the music, see the photos from each decade. Cool. This must be part of somebody's uh, album cover or something. Oh no, it's from Tivoli. That's what it's for. This is the Tivoli room. Look at the ceiling. They have uh, all these instruments hanging from the ceiling. They're all painted white. You have just about every instrument ever imagined. 
broken snare drums, horns, clarinets, guitars, medieval instruments, you name it, they got it. And I'm not gonna go through every room because a lot of it's just pictures. I'm just gonna show you mainly the costumes and the props and the effects and stuff like that. Like this. And don't worry, there is a lot more ABBA to come. I think the ABBA full section of the museum is on the other side because I saw an arrow pointing to it, but I went the opposite way. And speak of the devil, there they are. And there is the late, great Chuck Berry, Brigitte Nielsen. And this is the Yamaha room. This is actually, well, you see, you can say it. Um, this is the room dedicated to all the people that played Yamaha. And they actually will let you sit down and go ahead and play if you want. They have a lot of these in the museum where you can go put your head through there, but since I'm by myself and somewhat an adult, I probably won't be doing that. And there's the cover of the Arrival album. And look at this. See what they're in? Now look right here. There it is. That's where they sat. Slipping through my fingers and look at that. I believe this was a uh, prop from it. A little kitchen. With a little fake outside. There's one of the music videos, the last video. And look, there they are. The same little uh, Muppet figures that they used for the last video. Look at those outfits, man. That is awesome. That's all hand painted. Wow, these are incredible. Ah, cool. Nice room. Wow. There's the Mamma Mia dress. They definitely had great costume makers. I saw that in a documentary about them. Wow. Look, there's the recording studio. Cool. This is Polar Music Studio where they recorded almost all their stuff. And this is a recreation of their backstage area. Nice costumes. Well, that is it, gang. The ABBA and Swedish Music Hall of Fame. Well, gang, that's it. That's the end of the ABBA Museum and the Swedish Music Museum. And I don't know if I'm a huge ABBA fan, but it actually made me appreciate it more because of the crazy costumes and the grand ideas and just how much work they put in. Maybe I'll start listening to it a little bit more. I did get a pretty awesome shirt that I'm gonna show you right at the end of this vlog. and. Uh, it was like the cheapest one, it was only like 12 bucks, so had to get it. And um, yeah, you know what? Honestly, even if you're not an ABBA fan, this was totally worth checking out because it was like three or four floors deep, multiple rooms, all kinds of things to see. And that's the shirt I got. It says the ABBA Museum down there and it's even got the boots.